Okay, there is one more type of transition that we need to cover, and it will be short and fun. We're going to use position transition to visualize how thumbnails get sorted. But first, let's see how sorting works in general. If we open home component, we can see that it sorts pictures by the specified order field and then passes them into grid component. Inside grid, we simply map each picture to a thumbnail component. And in addition to passing thumbnail props like picture and onclick handler, we also set a key property. You probably already know that keys help React identify which items have changed, so it can keep UI consistent and manipulate it more efficiently. However, keys are also important for layout transitions, because when we animate layout changes, Frame Emotion uses these keys to keep track of the elements when they change their position. To create this animation, we need to add position transition property to a thumbnail component. We'll start as usually by importing motion from frame of motion and adding motion prefix to the outer div. At this point, we can just add position transition property directly here, but let's stop for a moment and think if it actually belongs here. Position transition property enables layout animation, and this animation makes more sense in the context of the entire layout within which we animate, which is grid component in our case. Also, if we wanted to use thumbnail outside of grid component, then position transition animation wouldn't make much sense. Because of that, it would be better to pass position transition from the outside as the own property of thumbnail component. To do that, we'll import motion props type that describes all available props that can be passed to a motion component, and we'll add them to our props type. Then we'll spread all remaining props as motion props and pass them down to the motion diff. With this change, we can set any frame of motion property directly on a thumbnail component. So now we just need to switch to a grid component, set position transition property to true, and save the changes. Now when we click on sorting buttons, we can see how thumbnails change their position as we sort them. However, this transition is too jumpy and spring overshooting doesn't look good either. So this is a good place to use a twin transition. Instead of setting position transition property to true, we can set it to any valid transition object. So let's make this animation more subtle by setting transition to type twin and ease to ease in out. With this change, layout transition looks a lot smoother. 